Well, hey, family. This is Darlene back here again. I'm uh, still making these uh, chokers. So I do have three. I got three made. I got three made. This is going to be the fourth one. <clears throat> and they're not really chokers. They're a little bit longer than chokers. So um, this time I'm going to use some of the 20 millimeter the vintage i call these my vintage gold beads so i'm going to use these um if i could make everything with these beads i definitely would right so those and i am going to use some of these beads with the big gold dots so we're going to use some of these i don't know what i'm gonna do yet but we shall see um and i do have some of the wood these little small wood beads right here i'm going to use some of these i don't know what i'm gonna do yet and then i have a couple of the nine millimeter beads left. So we're gonna use some of those and then just see what we come out with. Um, there's no big bead for the center, the focal bead. Um, I don't think I wanna do that. I think I just wanna use uh, the 20 millimeter to see what I come out with. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, you know what? Is this one of the big beads right here? Oh, look, this is one of the uh, 25 millimeters right here. Let me see if I can maybe put, um, let me see something. I might want to use this one for the focal point. Let's see if it come out looking okay. And if it don't, I'll just take it off. That's already a pretty bead. And then let's do some of the, we'll do the small bead. With the gold dot on it see what that comes out looking like let's see um i can do that and then let me see I, i'll try it and then see what happened if not i'll take it a loose let's just try it and i do like these beads to be I like these better to be at the bottom. So we'll do that. And then what we'll do is use some of the nine millimeter vintage. We'll use these. Let me beat this on real quick. And they're so quick and easy to make, right? So I do like that. And I wanted to make something that's just goldish. And I think this will work out like what I want. And again, if it don't, guess what? I will definitely take it apart and I will try something else. But in the meantime, don't look too bad. And then we'll try, um, you know what? Let's try, let's try a couple of these little beads and then see what we get. Oops, put that on the wrong side. Put that one there. And then let's see. That That is nice like that. And I think I will leave that big bead right there. And then I'm gonna try a couple more of these. These meaning the ones with the big gold dots. And then I only got a couple more. Put that one there. And then we'll use this one. And see what I want to do is I want to add some color. But I said I don't want to put the color i just really want to make it just nice and gold and i think this will i think it'll work out right let's see let me just stick to what i said i was going to do to my to, to myself i said i was going to make it just gold so let's see how this turns out I'll put that there and i only have looks like two more of these little beads here so we'll put that on there this one on this side. And 
and that's not bad it's not bad at all you see this with a really nice ivory color suit maybe a black suit even something real red um, maroon or something or even just you know a lot of different uh prints mixed in with this see that got me wanting to add some beads that got prints on them and I think what I'm, I'm going to just stick to what I said. I'm going to stick to what I said. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick to what I said. I do want to try something, though. Um, let me do this. Because I, I do want to put a little color in it. So let me, let me I'm going to just try this. And if I don't like it, I'm gonna, I'll try some of the green ones on here. Just add a little bit of color. A little bit. A little bit. Oh, I already put that on there. So let me let me try this with the uh with the beads. So we'll do these right here. And then I'm gonna try just a couple of the green ones. And if it don't look good, I'll take it apart. Yep, I'm going to keep on going just to see. Um, I already don't like it with the green in there, so I'm going to just stop right there and I'm going to take it off because I, I don't like it. It's like it, it don't fit. So I'm going to take that off. And then what I will do is maybe try to put another... Uh, wood bead on there see how that looks so we'll try that put some more beads on because I did want to just make it gold um I'm not really sure if I like it with the big bead right here don't look bad though right I do kind of want it with just these beads at the bottom, the one with the big one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one side apart. I'm going to take the big bead off because I really don't like it like that. So let me do this. Uh, let me see what side. I'll take this side off. And all I'm doing is rolling them right on off. And then I'll take this big bead off because I really don't like the way it looks. And then we just going to start from scratch. So I got three on this side. So what we'll do, put another one over here. Um, let me see. We got three over there, four right here. But I do want a lot of these at the bottom. So let me do this. Let's put this one, this bead, and then I want to put another one of these, because I want these more at the bottom part like that. So we got one, two, three, four, five. So we'll put these five down here, and then we'll start with the vintage. So we do one. And then I kind of sort of mixed the dotted beads with the vintage beads. And that was not on purpose, but I'm going to leave them just like this because it does not look bad. And I need to pay attention to what I'm doing right here. So right here, I put a bead. Oh, wow. So let me see. Three on this side, that. And then we put that one. And then what I'll do is I'm going to take, um, I think I'm going to take this one off and then put that right there. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take these off. And then I'm going to put one of these beads. So what will happen is it'll be right before I put that other bead on. 
So I'm going to put this one. Uh, let's use let's use this one. Okay, so we'll put that on, and then we'll put one of these dotted beads on. Okay, so what I wanted to do is I want it like this. Okay, so but I still messed it up right here. Because these two, and then that one is in the middle. So I need to take this and then take this bead off. So we'll take that off. We'll do that. And then we will put this one. Put that one there. And then we'll put the other bead on here. And then we're going to take a look at it again. So it looks right. And then now we're going to put one of the color wash beads here. So then that matches up. So we have these two here with that would be these two here with the would be, would be color wash, color wash. And then we'll start with the color wash. And we'll do it that way. And then we'll put another one of the little dotted beads because I don't have any more of the color wash. We'll do that one. And then we have one, two, three. Okay, so we have this right here matching. And then we have a bead. Then we have this. Then we have this bead. And then we have another color wash bead. And then we have one of the wood beads. So then we'll put the wood bead on here. And then that matches here, and we'll put another color wash bead. And then I think we pretty much got it all matched up. So now, when I look at it, it looks matched up. So what I wanted with these was these dot beads right here, down in the, the bottom part. So we got these situated here, dot, 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 with a, one in the middle, dot, dot, one in the middle, color wash, color wash, small bead, color wash, a wood bead, color wash. And then now we'll just keep going. So now um, I do have a couple of these beads left, so we'll put these little small ones. We'll put that side. And then we'll do this side. And then we'll put some color wash. We'll twist that around. We'll put that one on there. And then we need to put a, so that all matches. Um, and then what I want to do, I do want to use a couple more of these little wood beads because I do like the way they look. So we'll use a couple of these. Do that side and then we will do this side and put that on there and then I do want to use a couple more of these beads so we're going to put these on here and turn that around we'll put these on here oops So we'll do that. I like the way it looks. So just with the gold, that's really pretty. And it's the beads that make it really nice. They're smaller beads, but it still looks really nice. Um, and this necklace can be worn stacked, like with another longer necklace or something. So let's use another one of these. This one is a little darker brown, and that's okay. We got another darker brown one right here. And then, because I do like these beads right here, we're going to use a couple more of these. And put another one here. Yeah, that's really pretty. I really like this. So I think what I'll do, um, 
I'm going to have to... I only have one of these beads left. So I might have to close it off with... Well, I don't have no more of those beads. Um, so I might have to close it off with... Maybe... Let's see. Oh, you know what? I do got two. I got one right here, and then I got I got two left. So I can use these to close the top off. But in the meantime, I am going to put another wood bead. And then I'm going to put another one on the other side. And then um, we'll use a couple more of these beads. This one, that's really pretty. I really like that. That's really, really pretty. Just that whole gold. That's pretty. And see, to me, it looks better without the big bead. So let me see something. Oops, oops, oops. Let's see if it'll, what it looks feel like. Mm-hmm. Yep, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close it off. Actually, I'm going to put one more wood bead on each side, the round wood bead. Put one more. And then we'll close it off with these little 9 millimeter beads. So we'll put that one on. Put that one on that side. And then we will put this one on this side. Keep it moving. Um, don't tell me this don't have holes in it. Look at that. That bead has no holes in it. So you know what that means. That means... Um, let me see if I have one over here somewhere. And if I don't, I'm going to have to figure something else out. Um, and if... Does not look like I have. Oh, yes, I do. I got one right here in my little bowl. So that's good. We got this one. All righty then. Sounds good. Looks good. Okay. I like the way it looks. That's really pretty. So, what I'm going to do now, um, I'm not going to even use all this wire. This time I cut a little bit more than what I wanted to cut. And that's that's fine. I don't waste wire. I'll end up making some type of earrings or something with it. So now, I'm going to twist it, close it off a little bit, just so the bees don't come off. And then we'll do the other side. I will take it and I generally twist it, turn it, and then it ends up with a little hoop like that. And then I'm going to just wrap it. Oh, I might use all this wire on this side. And then... I'm going to take it, and I like to just take the end of it and roll it, and then fold it into the little center part right here, the round part, right up in there, and then fold it down. And that way I don't feel anything anywhere. So this side may hoop this a little bit too far up but it's still okay because I could just use all the wire to wrap it and then make the, the round part a little bit smaller that's what I like about wire wire is very friendly it'll make something look like a masterpiece and you didn't even try to make it look like that 
so we'll take this. Uh, let me see. I might actually cut just a small piece of it off. So I can roll it. And then fold it inside of there. Just like that. That's a pretty necklace. This is really pretty. Um, do I got some jump rings? Some oh, I got some right here. I got so much stuff around here. I can't even find some stuff. Um, I know I bought some bigger jump rings that were about this size. Let me see if you can see that. About this size. I can't find those jump rings nowhere. Can't find them nowhere. And I'm like, I know I bought them because when I went to the store, I stocked up on them. But I just can't find them. And then I bought some, uh, I think I did a haul when I did bought all those charms. I can't tell you where those charms are. And I know they're around here somewhere. That's why I need to go, go through here and purge. Get rid of a bunch of stuff and then find some other stuff instead of that's pretty. I like this. That nice and gold. Yeah. I like that. Uh, let me see something. Because I did want it. The big one's at the bottom. That's a perfect little length, too. Just a nice, pretty, uh, elegant piece. You can wear a nice little suit, you know, your little dress jacket with your suit. Um, nice little cute pair of ivory pumps. You could even wear this with a nice black suit, nice black dress. And you can even layer this with some other necklaces too. You can layer it. I could even see this in red, like real pretty maroon or really deep red something like that, or just an outfit with a lot of prints, like the necklace, um, like this necklace here with all the different prints on it. I can even see an outfit like that with all different type of prints, just something real pretty, bright, very bright, very vibrant. This is like, I like this one. But anyway, this is number four. So I made four necklaces. I got two more to make, and then... um. I'm supposed to meet with her on uh, Saturday. What's today? Third Wednesday. I'm supposed to meet with her on Saturday. So I'll meet with her Saturday. She'll come by. She'll grab what she's going to grab. And um, hopefully she'll grab all six of them. Okay. You know how people be doing. They be like, oh, no, I just want all of them. But I like this. I do like the way this came out at the bottom. Um, instead of using the color wash beads at the bottom, I think these give it more of a, a little bit more drama with the beaded ones, the dotted at the bottom. So I really like this too. But anyway, this is another one of the necklaces. And guess what, family? We'll talk.